Hi, I'm Alice Rolls. I'm president and CEO of Georgia Organics, and we're here to celebrate the 2022 Land Stewardship Award winner. This award was established to recognize farmers or ag professionals who have helped advance organic agriculture in the state of Georgia. This year, we're excited to honor Juan Carlos Diaz Perez, uh, who has served as a former board member of Georgia Organics, but more importantly, he's been helping advance organic agriculture within the University of Georgia system, both as a horticultural professor and mostly as a researcher. Within the university system, he's been an early adopter of organic agriculture, a real true leader, maybe when there wasn't necessarily a lot of institutional support for those things. Um, and he's been doing this work quietly over the years. Uh, and I, I love recognizing people that are doing the work day after day to champion organic agriculture with maybe not the institutional support um, that, that is really necessary to undertake this work. I'm honored to recognize Juan Carlos Diaz Perez as a true champion, a true leader, and we need more champions like Juan Carlos. Okay, my name is Juan Carlos Diaz Perez. Uh, I am a professor of the Department of Horticulture at the University of Georgia. When I was a student in, of agriculture in Guadalajara, one of the things that drew my attention was the um, erosion of the soils and uh, the impoverishment associated with the use of uh, conventional practices. I, I remember the case of a farmer who used to grow his corn as their ancestors had done it for centuries. And when he started to do conventional production and using chemical fertilizers and herbicides and so forth, his soil became poorer. So it was very evident. So that was one of the experiences I had working with that grower. Well, I, am, I was born and raised in Mexico and uh, I have uh, Native American indigenous uh, um, ancestry and, and I have always had a lot of respect and uh, appreciation for my ancestry, especially as it relates to how Native Americans uh, love and respect Mother Nature and the soil. And I think uh, those are my masters and I always keep that in mind when I work on sustainable agriculture. The advice I would give to young farmers is to, to love what they do, to love their land. Um, they need to be aware of the new technologies and they also need to know their markets and their customers, to, to always be open to new opportunities. What legacy I hope to create? Well, I just hope to share the love for land and the importance of uh, being good, do, doing uh, the stewardship for land. That's, that's something really, really important. And we have to give that to the new generations. In terms of involvement, I've been part of the board of Georgia Organics for several years. And I have always been in touch uh, of, with the, the organization, being a member at least and uh, keeping communications with the folks from George Organics and they have always given me support when you know, in different ways. So. Uh, I am Momta Bashal and I'm from Nepal. I'm currently working as a graduate research assistant with Dr. Juan Carlos and I work with different color setting nets on jalapeno paper and also the different irrigation level like how the water and light quality affects on the um, production of the jalapeno paper in the organic field. Congratulations, Dr. Juan Carlos. You really did a good job. Uh, my name is Orestes Gianopoulos. I, I work in the Vidal Onion Research Lab, this area. Last, I would like to say thank uh, Dr. Juan Carlos for any of his help he has given me. Congratulations, Dr. Juan Carlos. And thanks a lot. What else? <laughs> um, hi, I'm Timothy Kulong. I'm an extension faculty member here in the Department of Horticulture. Uh, I'd like to say congratulations to Dr. Juan Carlos Diaz. Um, I've known Juan Carlos uh, closely since 2013 when I came back to the UGA Tifton campus. I have a lot of respect for him as a scientist, uh, particularly his work in organic and sustainable agriculture. And I know he's very deserving of the 
Land Steward Award. So I'd just like to say congratulations for all your hard work. Um, this is a well-deserved award.